In this video, we will discuss an overview of sharing Civil 3D objects. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file 0701 sharing data overview.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the Working with this dataset video. Civil 3D provides a means by which to save Civil 3D objects in separate DWGs and then reference them into multiple project files through data shortcut and xreference functionality. The location where data shortcut functionality can be accessed is in the tool space prospector tab under the data shortcuts collection. You'll notice that we already have an active Civil 3D project located under the dataset folder. And within that folder, we have references to an existing ground and a few centerline alignments that we will use throughout the project. You can then reference these data shortcuts very similar to X reference functionality to then use them in your file. Let's take a look at how we are doing this in this current file. You'll notice that you can select the surface in the file. However, if we navigate to the surface in the prospector tab, you'll notice a little shortcut icon that tells you this surface is not in the file. It is simply a reference to the DWG file that contains the surface object. That said, you can still create contour labels as you can see here that I've done. And you can display the surface however you want to, applying whatever surface style you need to apply to it. Let's look at the alignments in this file. You'll notice that when I select this alignment, I do not have any of the grips to make edits to. However, I can create my own labels, add labels like station offset labels, however I need to. If anything changes to the Civil 3D object in the drawing file, the labels will update automatically. Also notice that if I select this parcel object, you'll notice the Ribbon External Reference Contextual tab appears, notifying us that this is actually an external reference file. Also notice that I can actually create labels from these parcels, even though they are in a reference. They are not using data shortcut functionality, they are simply using standard AutoCAD XREF functionality. As far as the object types that you can actually create data shortcuts to, you can create data shortcuts to surfaces, alignments, pipe networks, pressure networks, and view frame groups. And multiple users can access any of the data shortcuts that you create within the project. Data shortcut functionality can greatly reduce the data within one file, making it much easier to design large projects and then referencing the data as you need to. This concludes this video discussing an overview of sharing Civil 3D objects.